music. It is time now for Fox 5's Weather on the Road with Sam Arger. Today, Sam is in studio, not venturing out because, of course, Schools are closed right now. Yeah, schools are on hiatus, but does not mean we stop learning That's here right. at Fox 5. I'm your student today. And you are a great <laughs> student. So the road was a little shorter just coming over to the Moore studio today, but we're going to learn about tornadoes and dust devils because one of those we see quite a bit, the other we don't see quite so much. The thing we don't see quite so much are tornadoes. If you've lived in other parts of the country like Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, uh, I know being that you know your movie so well, Twister? where did, well, Twister's <laughs> one, uh, where did, where was Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz at? Uh, oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. I know. We're not I, in. Kansas. There you go. Yeah, okay. I'm still thinking Twister. I'm like, <laughs> there's the cow. No, of course. Uh, by the way, I yeah. should know that because, little known fact, I played the cowardly lion what? in my high school production. Put him up. Put him up. Okay. That's for another time. <laughs> so we digress. But Kansas <laughs> is in the middle of Tornado Alley. Yes, yes. So we'll go back to the graphic. That part of the country there is where we see a lot of tornadoes. <laughs> there's a lot of moist, warm air coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, clashes with cold air out of Canada, and you get really strong what we call supercell thunderstorms develop. That picture on the left, that is a tornado, but keep an eye on that tornado. You see the funnel, it comes from the cloud to the ground. That is key. That makes a tornado. We'll fast forward to dust devils, which we see here in southern Nevada. They look kind of like a tornado. There's a little vortex there, but they form very differently. There's, see the blue sky there, Rachel? Yeah. We don't have a cloud. Dust devils form from very hot air rising quickly. They usually form on sunny, hot days, and they can pick up dust. They're usually never as strong as a tornado is. They can sometimes cause some minor damage, but usually they don't cause much damage. They last for a very short period of time. So that's the difference between dust devils and tornadoes. So that leads me to our experiment today. And Demonstration. Um, I've only got one pair of safety goggles, so we're social distancing, Listen, so we've got our space. Yes, we need to protect you. So we're going to... Um, I've I'll got do a, this when it's important. Okay, it, it won't be that big of a flame, but we're going to make a little flame inside of our wastebasket. So this wastebasket, I'm going to... Let's light it up first. So we'll let that go. So we got a little flame there, and it's in the middle of our wastebasket. Now, this wastebasket has little holes all around it, Rachel. So much like a dust devil forms, we've got hot rising air. That's what the flame's doing right now. That's warm air rising. You can see how hot it is. It's not too high, but when we start to spin the garbage can and we start getting a little airflow around it, look how much higher it goes. Oh, see wow. that? So that's how dust devils form, is when we see rising air that's very hot, it can sometimes get a little, what we call vortex, a little whirl to it, and it can pick up dust and create what's known as a dust devil. So notice, it's not coming from the cloud to the ground, it's originating at the ground and spinning up. Now this can also happen in wildfire situations. We have wildfire fires, um, the air is just so hot, of course, with the fires burning, that fires can create their own wind flow. So we can actually see little spin-ups like this called fire whirls or fire nados that form. Oh, wow. So this experiment's really good. It looks cool because you can see how much higher the flame goes when we start to spin it and get that airflow around it. But it's a great demonstration to show how dust devils form as opposed to tornadoes. Oh my gosh, did you learn this at meteorology school? Um, <laughs> this was a little bit of that, yeah. And then, you know, just trying to find experiments that are visual for the kids when they go to schools, of course. And, so and adults, too. It makes it better when it's visual I, I learning. I was captivated. <laughs> I love so, it. So let's put the fire out before okay, we... Uh, so, so I got a little baking soda. We're just going to pour that in there and Which that's a good voila. tip to have, too, because if you have baking soda on hand yeah. and you have any little kitchen fire start, use that to put it out, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh or gosh. have a fire extinguisher nearby, which is the best thing. I love that. Do you have any messages to the kids who are watching? Because I know yeah. I love so much going to the schools and doing this in person. Oh, I know. I definitely miss going out to the schools. We do it every week. We've been doing it for three years now. We've, we've wow. been to a lot of schools around the valley, but we'll be back. School's going to be back in session before we know it. In the meantime, we'll be joining you here on more yeah. with uh, our Weather on the Road segments. And we've got, uh, we've got some other learning down the road. Maybe we'll learn about rain gauges or maybe even the weather balloon. I think you might like the weather balloon. No, I love it because like truly like I was a good student because I'm yeah. a you know, daughter of a school teacher, but science was not my best subject. Okay. So I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, you know, science can be very <laughs> fun. It can be very visual. And I think when students can see things like this or we made the cloud in a bottle last week, yeah. um, science can be a lot of fun. It can be a really great learning. And there's so many amazing teachers in the Valley. Absolutely. And, and there's a lot. We, I know we interviewed the science mom and dad. Um, they're doing their lessons on Online. There's so many people that are that are teachers that are online right now, and the, the resources are so great for all the students that are out of school right I now. I love that, Sam. Thank you so My pleasure, much. My pleasure, Rachel. We Thanks so for having much. me. And thank you guys for watching too. For more information on our our Weather on the Road program, just visit our website at fox5vegas.com and just click on that handsome guy's face right there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sam.